Welcome to Creatively Using the Creative Suite. Here's your host, Eric Bernskild. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Creatively Using the Creative Suite podcast. My name is Eric Bernskild. Today we're inside of Audition CS 5.5 and I'm going to show you what Audition does best when it comes to cutting and trimming. So we're doing basic audio editing today, but in a brand new application that hasn't been part of the Creative Suite before. So we're in Audition CS 5.5 and this is basic cutting and trimming. So what I thought I wanted to do is just do some editing on a an audio podcast episode. Uh, it's called the Design Roundtable Podcast, and I produced this podcast uh, together with other friends of mine. Uh, and th- I thought I'd show you how editing of that might be inside of Audition. So the first thing that I want to do is, of course, just go ahead and import the clips into Audition. So I'm going to just expand the the view here of the editor. And what I'm going to have done already is create a new multi-track document. So I went to File, New, Multi-Track Session, or just click the multi-track button up here, and it's going to create that multi-track project. You're going to ask to save it, and that's where we're up to. So what I'm going to do is I, I have a few files here in Finder that I want to use. So I have an opening jingle, which I can play. And just a little bit of it. And then I have the main episode, which is uncut. It's straight from my recording application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dedicate a track each to these. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit here, which you can do with the zoom out amplitude button right here. Uh, and I, I want to fit two tracks on the screen here because that's what I'm going to work be working with. So I'm going to drag in, first and foremost, the podcast to the first track. And notice how I get this little nice guide to where the start's going to be. It snaps to time intervals. And I'm going to position that right in the beginning. And it's going to read the audio, the MP3 audio. It's going to take just a little while. But while I while it reads that, I'm not locked up because I can go ahead, take the jingle, drag that in as well to the far beginning. It's going to throw me an error here saying that it supports an unsupported ID3 version 2.2 tag. Uh, so please convert it unless I want to lose this metadata. So I'm just going to click OK to that error message for now. We'll deal with that later at expert time. So... What I have now is both of these are generated, right? And just now, both of the clips start at the same time. So you're going to hear when I play it that, yeah, it starts the exact same time. It starts speaking. And then it's going to come the jingle as well. In this case, it doesn't really come very well. So what I, I of course, want to do some editing to this. Right, so I'm gonna zoom in a bit, and you can use the zoom in time tool right here, or you can go ahead and use the top area right here, and just drag in one end, and drag it downwards, and you're gonna see how the timeline shortens to a less of an interval. So I'm gonna drag down a fair bit here until I can fit just basically the jingle in here. I want to make sure that I've moved this to the beginning, and then I can change the audio here. Now, I happen to know that this area right here is where I start speaking with the introduction. So I pretty much want to get rid of what's before, and I want this to start right after the jingle. So I'm going to just just drag the clip on the timeline so so the audio frames here start when I want. And the, the, benef- the beauty of aud- Audition is that I can go ahead and use basically video editing techniques in this audio editor. So when I hover over the edge here, I get this trimming icon. So all I need to do is drag and just click and drag it inwards. And I shorten and reduce the start of this clip until the time when I let it go. And let's say I've made a mistake in here. Now I know right now there's nothing that I want to cut out. So Let's say I just want to do some cutting just somewhere here in the middle. Let's say we had an error uh, right about here. I want to cut a bit out of this pause. And you have run your... Or just cut the entire piece here, which you might very well 
want to do if someone said something inappropriate. So let's say I want to cut this piece away. So what I'm going to do is click I when I want to start the cut. This marks an end point. Then I'm going to listen and, and play until I get to the end. So I'm going to stop at you, you have run, run and that's where I'm going to stop. So I'm going to click O for out point. And in this case, we're going to do something that video editors are very familiar with. We're going to do what's called a ripple delete. And a ripple delete basically removes the area which we've selected between our in and out points. And it also brings the clips together. So it's not, it's a very seamless um, cut. So I'm going to do edit. And to ripple delete, I want to do time selection. In this case, it doesn't matter if I do all tracks or selected track. Um, that's my choices. And now it's it's gone from from the audio clip right here. So that's a very easy way. We're cutting a little bit, and we've also done some trimming to the start. So let's add the jingle once more. At the end, I'm going to take and scroll to the end right here, and I want to add the jingle again. So I'm going to drag it in, and I can also dra drag it in from Finder, or I can see in the Files panel up here that I've got my opening jingle as a file. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this in to the project, and now I know roughly where I want it, and I, it should be here at uh, 1.10.30 where I start doing the outro. Let's listen. Uh -huh. Actually, it's just after that, right here, I start doing the outro. So what I'm going to do here is just position the jingle where it's going to start, and it's going to just be that simple and that easy to work with. And it's going to go ahead and go on here. So that's two very easy techniques to cut and trim audio remember in and out point and ripple delete as well as just dragging the edges here where you, when you get the nice little cursor you can just see it right here when you get at the edge get that cursor you can just click and drag and trim this clip down so that's two easy editing techniques inside of audition great new audio editor inside of Adobe Creative Suite CS 5.5. Thank you for watching this week's episode of the Creatively Using the Creative Suite podcast. My name is Eric Burnskill, and I hope you'll be joining me next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>